Hey, this is Matt Winning at winningstrength.com, and today we're going to talk about something that I think needs to be out in the public, and that's why you need a coach. For all of us, you know, we need to be able to try to get somewhere we want to go faster, and the only way to do that is to find somebody with more experience that's hit the pitfalls and understood not how to plateau and not how to get injured. That becomes very rare in this population because most people are trying to sell quick fixes. But coaching usually is long-term and needs to be thought of that way in order for you to not make mistakes, but also get to where you want to go faster with less mileage. So let's get to it. Well, the first thing I think we need to get over is when you get a coach, usually if they're smart and educated and had a lot of experience, you're going to get stronger faster. Why? Because what I have learned is that for most people, when they start to get very excited about training when they first start, they tend to way overdo things when they first start. We well, have to understand one thing, and I've talked about this a ton. It's not what you can do, it's what you can recover from. So this means that a lot of times when you're a beginner, your muscles are not used to being damaged, right? Your heart rate's not used to going high, your lactic acid tolerance is very low, and if you're not used to training, sometimes you see beginners puke, be nauseous and sick, and then stay sore for an extended period of time. It's okay to be uncomfortable 24 hours after training. But if you've trained that day and then you're sore in five days, probably didn't do the right thing. I think what you have to understand and that advanced coaches know, this should be a big bullet point, is that soreness is not an indicator of a good workout. For example, I just got done doing the dynamic effort method today. We did speed benching, pretty heavy bent over rows, a big winning warm up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if I had to, and there was $10,000 on the desk right now, I could do that complete workout over again. Does this mean that I didn't train hard enough? Absolutely not, obviously, because I'm still as strong as I was at 28, now at 43 years old. So the point is, there must be something to that. So what I'm trying to tell you is, is that if you wanna get stronger faster, you're gonna need a coach. The second thing is advanced coaches know, and we kind of talked about it a little, when enough is enough. For most people, especially as beginners, they don't know what fatigue feels like, they don't know the warning signs, and they don't know when to stop. And that causes not only overtraining, but it starts to increase injury immensely. For most beginners and intermediates, stopping point is usually when technical proficiency is broken down. This means once an exercise, either you see knee valgus or the back rolling over, or the bench press starting to get crooked and the elbows are fishing around or the wrists are starting to roll back, it's a good time to stop because the neurological system no longer has control, what we like to call Jesus taking the wheel. And an advanced coach is gonna know when you need to stop. And that is very, very important and why also you need a coach. The third thing, which I think is the most important thing and one of the reasons why I feel winning strength is so um, advanced compared to most people, is new exercises and knowing how to keep the body and, body and mind fresh. Well, what does this mean? This means that usually for most people, psychological burnout is usually one of the number one reasons that most people quit training. Why? Well, people plateau, they don't get any better, they don't understand anymore or want to pick up a book and they think if they just keep extending the workout time, i.e. training over an hour, which you shouldn't do, or they keep doing the same exercise over and over and over again, therefore eliciting no new result due to lack of adjustment or law of accommodation. So new exercises and when to put them in is very important and an advanced coach is gonna know when this is. Now a beginner, a new exercise is the squat, the deadlift and the bench. So it doesn't necessarily mean you need a vast array of movements when you first start or even at the intermediate level. But what you might need is different tempos, you might need different angles, and you might need different positionings in order to make sure you're getting strong in all areas because at the top, there is no weakest link. If you have a weak link, it's either gonna come in the form of technical breakdown or injury. So if you need more help, go check out our online coaching or at the bare minimum, come on to Train Heroic and at least follow a high level program so that you're not over or under doing anything.
We hope to talk to you guys soon and see you at winningstrength.com. Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. They ain't wanna help me, that's what made me a boss. You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. We don't give a f that's what they don't understand. I'm back again like flu season, I broke records while losing.